Hey YouTube, Fog City Tackle coming out with his first video. After watching everybody else's video, I said, you know, I gotta, I gotta give back because you guys really helped me pick out some good gear, uh, good entertainment, and just, just fun watching this stuff. And I, I really got engulfed in this whole YouTube thing, and then uh, I think it's totally cool. But let's get back into my, what I was first uh, showing here. It's a uh, Bulldog 35-inch discreet rifle bag. Model number, let's get this tag, Bulldog, or BD, 470-35, black rectangle tactical case. Yeah, it's made in China. But here's the bonus. It floats. I hope never drop it in water. It's got Bulldog right in the front here. I guess people probably that know guns is going to know that uh, yeah, it's probably something uh, in there. It's got two outside pockets. They're equally the same size. There's a single zipper on the top. Inside the pocket, there's room for three 30 round mags. I stuck in here, I only have 20 rounds. 10, 20 P mag. It slides in way deeper. My hand's in there. You can see, so a 30 would fit. There's also some extra room in here. So, You got some space in there. Let's see if you can see with the light. Put some ammo, flashlights, anything else, rags, pens, papers, anything else you might want to carry. Probably, you probably, you know, I bet you I could do this. Put the handguns there. Take two handguns with you, a bunch of ammo, and just carry one case. So that, that might be some, some savings in that sense. It's got a carry handle. One and a half inch webbing, I think it is, nylon. Very sturdy. It goes all the way around. It's a wraparound style. So we'll go back into this pocket. So here's the uh, the handle. Again, right through the pocket. And on the bottom right here, you can see it goes all the way around the back there. Zip this back up. And it's a little hard with one hand. There we go. Flip it over. Here's the bonus. This is probably the coolest part of this uh, bag. I didn't expect this when I bought it, but when I got it, I was uh, happy to see it. It's got a backpack strap. It's adjustable. I got it tightened down pretty tight here. And uh, it actually has a quick di disconnect, so I guess if it was on your body, you had to get it off real fast. Pop that off, and that thing's, that thing's off you. So it's got a quick strap here. Let's see if I can strap this back in so you can see how it looks. One hand. This might be harder than I think. I think I got it. No. Oh. There we go. Cool. Okay, so that's nice and tight. It's got an adjustment here so you can adjust for your shoulder width. Pretty cool. So if you look at it, and that's on your on your on your back, and this is on I guess on the part where someone looks at you. It's got two squares. Kind of an odd shape. I guess it could be a keyboard. Maybe someone say, yeah, that looks like a keyboard. That guy looks like a keyboard player. Eh, whatever it is. Let's look at the inside. Oh, I want to talk about one thing, too. So, some people are talking about, you know, YKK zippers, and I, I understand that. High-quality zippers. This is like a bulldog, right, on the zipper itself. It's pretty cool looking. You can see that there. There we go. Uh, the zipper itself, is it made of metal? No, uh, I don't think so. I could be wrong. I think it might be plastic. You know, but for this price point, I'm happy. This isn't a go-to-war bag. This is just get-to-the-range bag. Inside, got a Stag Model 8. That's the whole reason why I got this bag. I want to get to the range. This has never been fired. So I'm really excited that this weekend I'll be able to get out with this. It isn't safe. Chamber's emptied. It's got a bullet button on there, so I can't really drop the mag. But you can see in there, there's nothing inside. So it's totally safe. Again, this is unfired, and I cannot wait to get it fired. Got plenty of ammo. And uh, I need an optic. I think I'm going to grab... I got a uh, Bushnell TRS-25 I got on, uh, 
on something else. I'm going to go ahead and stick it on here. I think it should be pretty good. The foam on this thing, it's pretty thick. I think it's like an inch thick on, on the front and the back. So plenty, plenty of padding. I think one of the things I wish it had were some straps. So you could kind of strap this down. So it would keep things from moving around. Because I bet you, you could probably put it to the top. Maybe put two. Nah, probably not. Let's put it back in there. So, once it's zipped up, it really can't go anywhere. I guess like most rifle cases, no, nope, not really much that holds it in place. It just kind of sits there. Let's see if I can zip this back up so you can see it. So I got this. I think I paid like $54 off Optic Planet. Optic Planets? Planet? Planet. <laughs> I can't speak. And uh, I figured you know, that was about where I wanted to spend. But I got, I got really bummed out. I got an email like a day or two ago from Devor, which is their sister site, and they had uh, rifle cases. And you know, sure enough, this case is now $40. So even a better steal at $40. But, you know, that always happens. I buy something, and then sure enough, it goes on sale afterwards. But I'm not going to return it or anything and try to get my money back because I'm really happy with what I have for what I paid for it. I just think it's a really good deal, and if you could take advantage of it, uh, you know, go grab it. Um, I didn't see any other videos on this case, and that's why I figured I wanted to go ahead and, and kind of do it. When you, when you do a search of discrete cases, some other ones come up, and they just look really expensive. And I think at, uh, again, now at $40, this is a great thing. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, leave them below. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. And uh, subscribe if you can. I need at least one subscriber. Talk to you soon.